day, happy travelers. Hope you are doing well. Today, we are going to talk about the animal kingdom and a guide to sit down dining. Just a quick reminder, I'm not a travel agent. I'm not getting paid for this. They don't pay me for this. And uh, my sole goal in all of these videos is to help you in your investment. Remember, uh, you probably spent thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, perhaps, uh, to make memories with you and your family. So what I'm trying to do is to help you make sure that the memories you want to build are built and that the money that you spent uh, was well worth it and that it went about as good as it could have possibly have gone and you considered everything that Disney has to offer. Because I consider Disney like a fire hose. Water, there's just so much to do. There's water everywhere. If you try to drink out of the fire hose, uh, it, it's well, I've never done it, but I imagine it would be very difficult. So I'm trying to break it out into streams uh, streams of thought. So where we are at today, uh, I'm, you know, you probably saw my orientation to the park. If not, it'll be at the link at the bottom where I just provide a high level. If you've never been, it's a high level overview. If you haven't been in a while, it's a nice refresher. Maybe it changed a little bit. Now we're starting to, to add another layer. We're starting to talk about dining. If you're thinking about doing some dining and trying to weigh, well, you know, am, am I going to eat just what, what's there, just go up, walk up, grab some food and sit down somewhere? Or do I want to sit down in one of these restaurants uh, in the air conditioning, rest our feet for a little bit? That That is that is the purpose of this module. I'm going to give you your options and you take it or leave it. You, you just, at least you know, you, you know, you're like, oh, hey, see all the people waiting outside this restaurant. I wish I would have knew or no. And now uh, you, you will. So in green here, we're in module two of uh of what will be well at least nine modules but no, module two nevertheless hopefully you're here uh before your 60 day mark uh 60 days is a magical time because if you choose to do sit down dining uh 60 days from the start of your stay at a disney world property you can begin to make uh dining reservations if that's something you want to do so you're here Let's go talk about what, what's available. Just so, just in case you, you missed it, just as a, a quick refresher of what we already covered. It's assumed at this point you know about the uh, Animal Kingdom Park. It was covered in uh, the, the last module about how to go in and how to not walk 20 miles. What's this In this park, a 20-mile walk, if you don't plan, is possible. And it is possible to do all this stuff in uh, about a two- or three-mile walk. Animal Kingdom is big. So we, we talked about the flows and now we're going to talk about sit-down dining locations. And there's several. The park entrance, right off the bat, you're like, man, just got some park. I'm, I'm, I'm hankering. <laughs> hankering for some food. Ta-da! Right off to your left, you can get this party started uh, with, with a, a little bit of food. As you walk in, uh, you got Tiffin's we'll talk about. Uh, over in Africa land, you got the Tusker House. You got Yak and Yeti at the top in Asia. And uh, so these are the sit-down uh, restaurants. And uh, again, that just means you made reservations. You go there at a certain time. You go and say, hey, I'm here for my 630 reservation at the Tusker House. And uh, you, you, you get in and you, you are, well, actually, they have an app that lets you uh, check in uh, as well. You don't even have to walk, walk up to the, uh, the, the people anymore in most instances, except maybe the Landry's, Yak and Yeti uh, and... Uh, no, I think Yak and Yeti, I did remote check-in as well. So, so anyway, here we go. Uh, you know, Hopefully you're here before the 60-day mark. Let, let's talk about Rank Forest Cafe right here at the front. Let's, let, let's take a look at the menu, shall we? What does the menu look like? And hopefully we can go just back one, one screen here. Here we go. So Rank Forest Cafe. Uh, there's two. Be careful here. One's at Disney Springs. If you make a reservation for the Animal Kingdom Rainforest Cafe, but accidentally make one at Disney Springs, you're going to go up there and be like, well, we don't have you. We'll, we can add you to the queue and you might have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, so just make sure it's the one at the Animal Kingdom. Pay attention to that. Uh, here we have the, the times of the meals. Uh, the lunch menu and the dinner menu is identical, at least as of early uh, early March. So that might change if you're checking on this. And this is March of 2023, by the way. So if you're checking on this in June, uh, it, maybe maybe it is completely different. But the, the portions and the sizes are the same. So there's the times for the meals. Here's the breakfast menu. Uh, you can pause and look at it at your leisure if you if you're 
you know, really a big breakfast junkie. Uh, the breakfast at Disney World was pretty pretty cool because think about it, logistically, you get everyone wound, uh, you know, rounded up, and there's some motivation to get there because they're hungry. So no one's you know iPadding it or dilly dallying or you know uh, whatever. Uh, so if you got an early uh, early crew and want to get to the park uh, and enjoy a breakfast, well, ta da! Here you go. Uh, and then you go on to the lunch and dinner. Here's what is uh, under the appetizer section. Again, hit pause if you want to uh, enjoy it. The, the appetizer is a pretty good way to kick off the day. And the nachos, well, you're making a statement. When they come to the table with those nachos, people are like, wow, I wish I would have got the nachos. Uh, we'll continue on with the menu here. Seafood, fried shrimp is typically what I get. But sometimes, sometimes I get the shrimp tacos. And I know people in my family who really enjoy the fish and chips. Uh, I've had the steak, but steak, rib, and shrimp trio. That's, uh, well, I mean, that's a little taste of everything. Who doesn't like that? Uh, for kids, hey, you got a kid uh, who's like, whoa, I got a you know, person with a, a picky kid. Let's take a look to make sure they have something here. Take a little look over, make sure there's something there for them. I uh, pause if you need to stay there. We'll continue on to the next restaurant, which is, oh, whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on one second. Team. I for almost forgot the most important part here, the volcano dessert. When you order the volcano dessert, and it says for four, it's probably for 30. Uh, they come out and like a whole bunch of them, you know, volcano, and it's uh, like sparkling on the way to your table. Uh, just like the nachos make a statement as it comes to your table, the volcano makes that much more of a, a statement. And uh, it's uh, if you're celebrating something or just enjoy volcanoes. Uh, you can read the ingredients there. It says chocolate brownie stacked up with uh, warm, I'm sorry, served warm, the brownies are with vanilla ice cream and whipped topping. So if that doesn't say, hey, volcano, I'm not sure what will. Let's move on to a, uh, a different restaurant, Tiffin's. We uh, have eaten there once. I would call this more of a fine dining experience. And for those with a a very exquisite palette of the, the fine taste in life. I don't know if I would, uh, if you're expecting a, a hot dog and a ham, ham sandwich, this wouldn't be for you. Here's their hours of operation down there, 12 to uh, 3 for lunch, uh, 12 to 3.55, and uh, dinner starts from 4 to 8. Uh, appetizers, uh, <laughs> it says, <clears throat> the, the charcuterie board says meat and cheese. These cheeses, it's not cheddar, it's not Swiss, it's not American, this is like, <clears throat> some fine stuff and uh, uh, it's very the, the taste whatever it is is finer than me because uh, I thought Swiss cheese was pretty good you know I was like hey maybe what was the other one brie uh, so and gouda uh, and I thought that was fine well they have some cheeses here that, uh, that really expand your palate be careful uh, we had the glazed pork belly pr pretty good uh, so there, there, there you go. Uh, let's get into the dinners, the main course again for the uh, the fine dining. Uh, some some stuff there. I think I had the uh, surf and turf when I went, and I, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, going down. Hey, well, what, what what is my kid gonna eat here? Uh, well, this is what your kid's gonna eat there. And again, this isn't uh, chicken strips. This isn't grilled cheese. This is uh, you know if you. If you're there and, you know, your bill is probably going to be $100, $200, uh, you know, make sure that there's stuff that your kid will eat. There you go. And for dessert, the 50th celebration should be ending soon, but uh, I heard that's pretty good. And then, of course, I believe the classic what everyone got at our table was the Lion King. And that's back when they had dining plans. So we haven't been there in a minute. Uh, I still taste the cheese. All right, let's move on. Tusker House in Africa Character Dining. Uh, Tusker House is right there uh, in Africa land on your way to the safari. And uh, you sit there. It's uh, as you, uh, what do they call it? It's all you can eat, but they call it as much as you'd like, or it's, it's called something different. It's a bountiful buffet, and you got some characters that you see in the uh, pictures. Breakfast is from 8 to 10 30, uh, lunch and dinner. But on the, the menu, the lunch and the dinner appear to be the same. I, if I remember correctly, when we went for lunch, it was just a little bit more duplication. Uh, the meat carving station wasn't as uh, profound. I believe they just had the ham, whereas on a dinner, they might have the sirloin, the ham, and a sausage. All right, so breakfast. Here's the price you pay for breakfast per adult. Here's the price you pay for the kids. Take a look. Make sure there's something that they would eat. 
Uh, and it's, uh, if you've eaten breakfast at Disney before, the eggs at one place are the eggs at the next place. Bacon is bacon, sausage is sausage. Here you're paying to eat at the Animal Kingdom with characters, and there's value in that. You're not spending time waiting in line to get a picture with these people, and they're in safari gear. So this is uh, kind of like a limited edition um, uh, opportunity there. So that is the Tusker House breakfast. Pause if you need to stay longer. Uh, here's the dinner. Uh, prices go up for dinner. The foods change. This is a, uh, when I looked for lunch and dinner, these items were exactly the same. And uh, they're, uh, uh, they're, it, it's, it's, it's a good dinner. I mean, it's a buffet. It's, it's good. The desserts are good. The, it's, it's good. I mean, it's just, you pick something, you try something. And if you want more, you, you, you go get more. It's, it's, it's a good dinner. But the characters is what will probably stand out and what you will probably remember this, uh, this for those, those photos of, of people with the characters. Uh, some more sides, the, the desserts and some beverages. I, if you're a big person uh, on the alcoholic beverage side, I don't cover a whole lot of that here. That's not necessarily my specialty. I'm just here to show you what's there to eat. And if uh, you're into something else, uh, maybe that'll be another video. Could be. Let's move on. Yak and Yeti. Uh, this is, if we go to Animal Kingdom, this is the one we try to get. It's a harder one to get. It's not as big as some of the other ones. It's a harder reservation to get. It's one of our favorites. It's in Asia land. Uh, lunch and dinner menu are the same. And you got the times 1030 to 730. Uh, let's, let's kick it off here. The shareable's meant for two. The ahi tuna nachos, I think, are legendary. And they're meant for two to seven. They're very shareable uh, if you like chunks of cold tuna. And I didn't say it in a way that you'd be like, wow, that sounds really good, traveling hacks guy. No, it's <laughs> the sauce. It is uh, sushi-grade ahi tuna. And the, the sauce, the whole experience, the chips, uh, it's kind of like a wonton chip. So it's it's quite enjoyable. Uh, let's see, if you're more of a soup and salad person, I have those here for you. Uh, if the noodle bowls, hey, Dragon Roll Bowl, I've tried to get that now three times. Uh, whatever is in there, it was out, and I could not get it. Uh, but the lo mein shrimp and uh, what was good, and I always enjoy that. Coconut shrimp I enjoyed. Uh, honey chicken was enjoyed. Sweet and sour chicken was enjoyed, I believe, another person. I'd go with a party of eight. If uh, I think I've mentioned that in almost all of my videos. So pretty much we've picked over everything. Hibachi steak and shrimp is always enjoyed. Some of the uh, sides down at the bottom. If you have a kid, let's get to the kids menu. Uh, at the bottom here, the kids entrees. This is what's for them. They do have cheeseburgers, uh, chicken, and mac and cheese. So that that's fantastic. Uh, so that concludes the dining items. Uh, if the menu changes, this is where you can go and see what you know, kind of what's up to date, what's open, maybe something closes for refurbishment. Uh, you can find them at WaltDisneyWorld.com under things to do. And then you can look at all dining. And then the uh, succeeding video, we, we will show how to, to get it done. So that is what we got here today. Uh, stay tuned. The next videos will cover the other three parks and uh, more, more videos will show as we add the layers, we pull the water streams out of the, uh, the, the fire spigot there, make this more of a, a manageable experience. And I'll see you in the next video. Travel safely.